Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be working on something a little different and you could probably tell that from the title of this video. We're going to be working on a 1911. This is a 22 model. So the entire receiver here is completely aluminum. It's not one of the steel ones so it shouldn't be too hard of a project and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting six slots across the top. So they're going to start here. It will, we're going to leave a little bit of a space between the front sight and the first slot. And then we're going to do six. They're going to be evenly spaced all the way down through here. And we are going to be doing that to match a slide that the individual owns. So he's got a, he actually has a real 1911 uh, 45. And we're going to match this one to, to his other slide. Now his other one has only four slots cut in the top of it. Um, and this one's a little bit longer. So we figured we would go ahead and do six. And I'm doing this for a local gun shop. So they ask and they shall receive. So guys, let's go ahead and jump right into that. Let's get these six cuts done. Take a look and see what we have here. All right, guys. Well, I went ahead and started the process and must have put a typo in there on the digits for the downside because we're taking off 31 foul. So we're off by a little bit. So I'm going to let it run, still looks cool, and then I'm going to make an adjustment and then we'll go ahead and fix it afterwards. Um, but yeah, that's not what it's supposed to look like. All right, guys, let's just see what this looked like anyhow. Take you out of the tripod. So <clears throat> we were supposed to be much deeper than that. But, you know, after I had seen the first slot and it moved to the next one, I thought, let's just let it run and see what it looks like. Um, still came out really cool. So anyhow, let's go ahead, go back, and let's set that depth to the correct amount, and let's run it again. But I'm still liking the pattern. Still looks really, really cool. So let's go ahead and do it the right way now, though. Now that's super cool. So we're gonna be able to see some nice barrel out through there. Now this is gonna go back to the gun shop. So I don't know whether they're gonna polish the barrel or tin coat the barrel or just leave the barrel. I don't know what they're gonna do with it. Um, but that's one of the reasons why I didn't sandblast it because I'm not sure if they're keeping the finish on this, which I'm 
guessing they probably are. So we stayed away from the sandblaster on this one, but it certainly came out super, super nice. It's gonna look awesome with that barrel in there, especially if they do some kind of a coating or a polishing uh, of that barrel, it's gonna come out just absolutely awesome. So there wasn't a whole lot going on on this one. So that's there's not a whole lot to talk about other than sometimes mistakes are made, guys. Um, I did make a mistake. We did cut it a little bit too shallow at the beginning. My numbers were off. And um, that's one of the reasons why I watch the machine. You know, I don't run, let the machine run dark. I don't walk away. Uh, I pay attention to what's going on. It could have easily went the other direction and we could have cut too deep, um, but we didn't. So that's super cool. But guys, subscribe. You know, I was looking at my numbers the other day and found out that one out of every five people are subscribed. So 80% of the people are not subscribed. So we got to do better than that. So if you guys are um, if you guys are watching my video and you're not subscribed, you want to see cool stuff, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Get Hit the like button if you like it. And I've told you guys before, um, I'm not expecting you guys to be a Glock fanboy. I do a lot of Glock work, but occasionally some cool stuff does come down um, that I do. There's a CZ video out there. I've got a couple other guns that are going to be um, underneath the CNC and underneath the laser that are not Glocks. So I'm not expecting you to be a Glock fanboy, even though that's a lot of what I do, um, but I am expecting you to hit the subscribe button and like it if you like the content that I'm delivering. And that's really what I'm pushing for. I want to give you guys good content, get you some something good to watch. Um, it's not about necessarily the brand slide that I'm working on. Sometimes it's just about the technique, the person, and the characteristics of what we're doing. So with that being said, subscribe if you have not subscribed. Guys, we've got a lot of projects coming down. Um, we have some big stuff coming. I always say that and we always do. This is one of them. Wasn't a big project, but it was something unique to you guys that you haven't seen before. So I'm always trying to give you guys new content. And um, as always, if you're not learning while you're doing it, then you're doing it wrong. Always stay learning, guys. Hey, I'm gonna catch you on the next one.